are with another video it's been like forever it's been like four months since i made a video i apologize but today i'm just gonna be talking about like you being able to know your camera and how you can get some of the best photos from your beginner camera if you just know how to use it and know the limits of it So back in June or July of 2020, I got this Nikon D5600 and I got it with the kit lens and I've created some of the best photos I have ever created out of it. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, Katie Productions, go follow me at Katie Productions, um, then you know that I shot the Under Armour All-America game and all those photos, at least all the pre-game stuff was filmed on a D5600 and this $130 lens, this, this 35 1.8. And those are probably some of my best photos that I have in my portfolio. And it was all basically a $700 kit pretty much. So recently I just see a lot of people DM, DMing me on Instagram talking about like, like, hey, what's the, the best camera for this? What's the best lens for this? Um, do I need this for sports or do I need this for whatever and what's the best thing to make my videos better and I get all those questions They mean well, they're just trying to make like really dope content and I understand that But what I always try to tell people is just like use what you have and then once you outgrow that Then you can start thinking about upgrading and that's something I've really been focusing on is basically just like learning to use what I have and not feeling the need to go buy this gimbal or go buy whatever, like go buy the next new thing. Um, it's definitely a struggle now with, you see on YouTube like, oh, go buy this camera, go buy that, go buy this lens. There's so many ads, like a, a new gimbal drops and there's like 40 videos made on it. And it's definitely like hard to get over that and hard to be like, oh, like it looks dope, but I really don't need it. And especially for beginners, like beginners feel like, oh, they need to buy the best thing to be able to create videos like they see their favorite creators making. And that's just not true. A couple months ago, I shot a wedding and I was just like, you know what? Like all the weddings I've shot, I've used like, gimbals. And that's just like a, kind of like a standard thing, I guess. But people just use gimbals for weddings because they're trying to create smooth stuff and all this stuff. And I'm just like, like, what if I just don't use a gimbal? Like, what if I just go handheld the whole wedding, slap a 35-1-4 on there and I just record the whole time, like handheld? Like, what if I did that? And I was like, screw it, I'm gonna do it. So. I'm not gonna run a gimbal. I'm just gonna go handheld and we're gonna see how it works. And that's kind of my style anyway. So I'm just like, I think it'll work. I think they'll like it. It turned out great. They loved it. And definitely the best wedding video I've done. Um, and it was all handheld. And going back to the point in the video, um, like I just learned to use what I have and create dope shit with it. Um, so that's my message to a lot of beginners. Again, just use what you have until you outgrow it. When I used this Nikon D5600 for like a year and a half, two years, I thought about upgrading so many times, but I was just like, I was really thinking about buying an A7 III like a year into it, a year into having this. And I was just like, like you know what? I'm just gonna stick with it. Like I'm just gonna stick with it. And an A7 III definitely would have improved my quality, but I'm just like, you know what? I can spend this money on, I don't even, I probably spend it on something stupid. But anyways, but yeah, I just stuck with the Nikon for another year, year and a half. And I think the last like major shoot I did with it was that Under Armour All-America game. And again, those, those photos came out like amazing. So you're asking me, Kevin, Katie Productions, you know, how do I like know what my camera can do? How do I like really get to know my camera? Well, it's on you. Like you have to go out, you have to do low light tests. You have to do, you know, try out all the focus modes. You have to know if you're camera can handle autofocus in video. You have to know so much stuff. I don't even know, just everything about your camera. Know what buttons to press on certain occasions, um, what controls, all the controls in the camera, all the buttons, everything. Just know that, look up YouTube videos. God damn, there's so many YouTube videos you can look up just to figure all this stuff out. But the main thing that's gonna help you is actually going out and testing it out so you, you're ready for a shoot. If anything happens, you know, you know what your camera can handle. Um, and that'll make you a better photographer and that'll 
in turn give you better images, get more clients, make more money, spending on other stupid crap. So, so for me, I knew when to upgrade my camera when I really just felt like I needed to upgrade my quality. Um, and especially with video, um, I really wanted to like hone in on video a little bit. And the A7S III was just like the perfect thing. Like I could shoot 4K, 4K in general was just like wow to me because this thing can only shoot like 1080p and just the quality even the quality of the 1080p was like so above this and the colors on the a7s3 was so much better than anything nikon sorry nikon but y'all need to work on it um but really when you actually feel like you have outgrown your old camera that's when i recommend switching but until then keep grinding keep learning the basics of photography keep learning manual mode keep learning you know, composition, keep learning, lighting. And then once you learn that and you've, you've kept creating like quality, quality stuff for, I don't know how long, however long you feel you, you've been doing it, um, that's when I recommend upgrading. Don't upgrade as soon as like the next camera come that, comes out. I will see y'all in the next video. Let me go grab my dog real quick. I don't know if I showed y'all him or not, but let me go get him. Come here, boy. This is my boy, Muquavius. Moose, oh, focus, please, 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 please. Can we get a little focus action? There we go, here we go. Bam, so here he is. This is my boy, Moose. Moose, look at the camera, look at the camera, Moose. Okay, that's nice too. He's a chocolate lab, he is 10 weeks old. Oh, damn it. Ugh. He is a mess, he likes to lick everything, he likes to chew on my hand like that. Just like that, I love that, don't you just love it? But I had to keep him in his crate for the video because, you know, he wanted to chew on the tripod legs while I was recording earlier. So that's just amazing. But I'm going to put you down now. So. Yeah, he's not. He's not having it. So. Oh, there we go. Stay there. Good boy. Okay. But I'll see you on the next video. Hopefully it won't be another four-month wait. And yeah, peace out.